Peace and love, everybody. Um, so first of all, I want to just say I'm out here causing elevation. My dear sister Murph, uh, Marie Antoinette, her brand. Um, we had a time at the Head Wraps Yoga and Curves uh, Healthy Living Experience that was just in the past um, week. And I want to thank all the vendors, all of the speakers. Everybody was amazing. Uh, my partner and sister in prosperity, uh, Simply Netfa, and I will do um, a recap um, coming shortly. It'll be posted. So, uh, But before I can go any further, I just really have to say thank you, thank you, thank you. We are looking to do bigger, brighter, and um, more, um, you know, engagement-based healthy living experiences for our community and abroad, right? So, listen, there's a lot of talk about following and being led and submitting. There's a lot of talk. And it's been, you know, I'm just, uh, I had in my meditation reflection today, um, that idea and those concepts came to me. And it really occurred to me that following someone is about trust. It's about trust, submitting to someone's vision, their leadership. Let's stick with that, right? Submitting to someone's leadership is about trust. Um, it's about the relationship and a feeling of uh, safety and vulnerability, right? Which all leads to trust. It's about trust. When you hear people saying, you know, I want a submissive woman, they don't understand relationship. They really don't. You don't have to ask for that. You just need to do what you're supposed to do. And I will say, though, many women have been abused and misused, more so than abused, misused to the capacity of they don't have the trust and the bandwidth to submit to um, individuals that are not showing that they, de they deserve that level of um, engagement. They deserve that level of trust, right? So when you hear someone saying, you know, well, this person or these group of people don't really submit, what are you doing your part? to create an environment where, you know, it's not really like a submission, like a subservient type of dynamic, but it's like, what can I do to help us become what we need to become? And following someone's leadership, whether it's in a group, whether it's an organization, whether it's a church, whether it's your spiritual community, or whether it's your relationship, or even, you know, partnerships, business partnerships and connection. If the people have shown that they don't have your best interests at heart, I'm talking shown, not what they say. Got to watch what people do. If the people have shown that they don't have your best interest at heart by their actions, if they have shown that, you know, they're really parasitic and taking, 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 as opposed to seeking how to nourish you and lift you up as well, like a reciprocal engagement, a reciprocal relationship, then you, it, you know, you can't really, I'm not going to say what people can't do, but it's inappropriate to expect a person to follow that type of leadership. It's inappropriate because following is built on trust. I trust you. I trust that you are not going to drive us over a cliff with your behavior, with your words, with your actions, with your whole thought process. I trust that you have your best interest at heart and my best interest at heart. But if you don't, if the, if the person is not following you know, there is a level of trust that has been broken, broken in following. Now, that's not to say that people don't have the uh, responsibility to heal. 
whatever the traumas were that broke that button. But people, you know, especially let's talk about male female dynamics for a minute. If a person is in, people are in a relationship and you know that this is a good person and a person who you can build with, then part of creating the longevity and the, the beauty of that relationship is loving the person as they journey through a state of understanding how to trust is showing them that you have their interest and their heart in the highest esteem so that the trust can be rebuilt for y'all's dynamic because people bring the misuse you know the 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 injury and the baggage of being misused to relationships they just do whether they're business etc right so if you realize if a person realizes well listen this person has a lot to offer they're a good connection and i see you know them following is a challenge let me just show them it's okay i'm not going to lead them over a cliff let me be true to my word let me do what i say i'm going to do let me show the person that i have their interests i got them i got you and i'm showing it as opposed to my words being empty so when y'all out here talking about are you easy to lead and can you follow yes but who right if you're true to your word if your philosophy and your vision for what you're trying to accomplish uh is is you know reasonable and good and not without flaws if you respect well, you shouldn't say not without flaws. So I mean, everything has flaws, but I'm saying that it's inconsistent, right? If you respect the person and they are showing you that their trust is, you know, that they are seeking to earn your trust, then you follow. Nobody has to ask you about that. Nobody has to say, well, you, I want to lead. Okay. Let's see what you got. But, you know, let's understand leadership and following is about trust. And in this world we live in, people come with all kinds of, you know, carry-ons <laughs> full of misuse and abuse and skepticism because, you know, people have abused their trust, their capacity to trust. So in a chakra sense, you want to heal the root and the heart chakra with that. Uh, because we all are responsible for doing our own healing. Because, you know, spirit will magnetize to you who and or what that will continue to test that area of your life that needs healing. That's all these situations are. They're just kind of showing you, okay, this is, you know, this is fermenting into something that is not of your highest power so you need to heal that that's what this person in your life's connection is showing you so we're responsible for our own healing our own repair our own connection and resurrection to the highest source within us that helps us to be a whole vital and healed being as we walk in this earth right and a, a, a magnificent, wonderful partnership is people around you that give you space to heal, you know, and constantly help you correct the mistrust by showing their trust, they're trustworthy and that they got you, you know? So the root, a sense of uncertainty, a sense of ungroundedness, you know, all of the sensual abuses, abuses that happen and misuses that happen in a person's life journey, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus. And then that heart chakra of being open and available for all manners of love and care. Yep. 
those are the two main chakras that you really want to work on and work on healing whatever is dented, bruised, broken in you regarding your capacity to trust and your capacity to magnify people to you who are consistent and concrete in their word. Because when those type, those type of people start showing up, that's an indication that you are healing what has been assailed, what has been misused. If you're still getting everybody that want to play you and just use up your energy and not really pour into you, our responsibility as a spiritual being is to recognize that that is an indication that we, you, I, all of us are still in a space that you haven't really dealt with some known or unknown trauma around being able to trust people. And so spirit is calling for a healing with that. But when folks show up, that's like, hey, I got you. And the words match the actions and your contribution is valued. Then you know you're on the right track. You are doing the work within yourself. And that's all any of us could do. And those people might still show up. But if you're doing the work on yourself, you'd be like, Erp, see that? I see you. Okay, peace and love. Or however you greet people, grand rising and, and you know, happy sleeping or whatever. <laughs> but you and I can't. We, we can't. I'm not on that frequency anymore. I know you're just stopping by to check, though. But I'm not on that frequency anymore. All these folks that surround me. I know that they have my interest and my intention, my love at, at their heart. I know they're caring for me. I know I can trust these people, right? And so lastly, I want to say, as you work on your root chakra and your heart chakra, or even that lower triangle of the root, uh, so, uh, uh, um, the root sacral and solar chakras, right? You want to make sure that you understand at the forefront that crown chakra is really your connection to divine source, right? The upper third connection to divine source. And if all else fails, you can't trust nobody. You're working on your healing, but that healing includes your connection to God. God is the best knower. God the divine universal life force flowing is really the major repair, is really the healing. Human beings are flawed, all of us. And human beings are workers of whatever trauma you need to heal in your life. So you lean on the God divine energy within you, whatever your spiritual practice is, and seek strength and fortitude in healing those energies that have led you to a space of being distrustful and fearful and disconnected from, you know, the capacity to be light and loving because you are in a state of distrust of people around you, right? It's God. It's God. And it's you manifesting your energies as divine source that is the real healing magic, is the salve, you know? So, yeah, we, we can follow. Mm-hmm. We could be led, but by who? And for what? All right? People who want you to follow without any um, contribution to your well-being are not really taking in. Um, a lot of times people don't own up to what they have created or what they've contributed to as to why a person is not really following them or not really, um, you know, not really leaning into their, their leadership. What's your contribution to why this person isn't 
you know, following you the way you might want somebody to follow you. Right? Part two, peace and love.